ready? Go to Mark chapter 2. I think this is a great example of a man who shows his friends carefully. Mark chapter 2. And then we uh, close it out. Amen? I don't heard many takes on this story, but I saw the vision of this story in this place, man. Because I have seen brothers who've gotten sick in here, and the men came to help them. I have seen people who needed a hospital in more ways than one, and brothers came to help them. Amen? Because we were all in the same condition. Amen? So, choose your friends carefully. Mark, chapter 2, starting at verse 1. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. And straight away, many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing a sick of palsy, one sick of palsy, which was what? Born of four. And when they could not come near unto him for the press, that means because of so many people being there, they couldn't get close to Jesus. Amen? They uncovered the roof. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That thing is giving me chills already. I know. They uncovered the roof where he was, and they, when they had broken it up, they let down the bed where the sick of the palsy left. When Jesus saw their faith, oh my goodness, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. Why did I bring that up? Because I'm just getting chills. That man couldn't walk. He couldn't move. You know what palsy is? Terrible palsy, we call it. But he had four friends. They couldn't get close to Jesus for the agreement. we ever known. And his name is Jesus. You may not have palsy like him, but are you willing to rip the roof off to get people? Are you willing to be ready to tear it up and don't care what nobody think about you, how they think about you, because you got friends that got your people. Amen? Amen. 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 How many of you want to choose your friends carefully for now? Amen. Y'all get any good word out of this thing? Amen. Father, we just thank you for this mighty word this evening. I thank you, Lord, that you bless me with revelational knowledge. I thank you for the friends that I have in this room. Because you call all of us friends. And I thank you for making me a friend of you. Making me a companion of you. And I thank you that those who go into the new year, not that I put a lot of emphasis on it, Father, because every day is a great day with you. Amen. But I just pray that they make wise decisions pick wise friends, not based on how much they love them or agree with them, but based on whether they have enough compassion, empathy, <coughs> love, oh my God, just the love of you. So those of you who need Jesus Christ, I just ask you to seek him with your whole heart. I ask these things in Jesus' name, and let the house say amen. amen. amen.